Hi Josh, so what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you how to import your cPanels to your existing client. So what you're going to do is over clients, click on view search clients, we're going to work on Dave. So we're going to go to Dave, then we're going to copy his email, but firstly what we're going to do is we're going to need to change the password of the cPanel because the new update requires a password before we actually change the email of the account so we'll come here there's the domain so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just change the password to a generic password let's grab one here we'll just use a generic one it's not a problem which one it is because the system's actually going to change it anyway so we'll change the password because I don't know this password so then it will say change so we're going to go back now to all the accounts and we're going to go west there it is there we're going to go to the C panel we're going to go up to the corner here and go contact information what I'm going to do is, is we need to now delete an item I'm now pasting the password in now I'm, I'm going to copy the email address and I am going to paste it there then Done. We're going to come back to our server and we're going to click find again. And when it loads, there you are, the email has changed there. So now the reason why we're doing that is, is that now when we import this cPanel, it's going to automatically put it under Dave's account. So you don't have to, because if you don't, it will just create hundreds of different admin accounts, which is going to be an issue because then you've got to delete the account, transfer it, which is actually quite a slow process. So now what we do is we've got the email. We've got it matched here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to go to the corner, go system settings. Then we're going to go down to, we're just going to type in server, servers. We're going to click on servers. Now this is going to be your server here. Now we can log into WHMCS or we can sync accounts. So what we'll do is we'll sync account because that's what we're going to be doing. And now I'm going to find, there it is at the top. We're going to click there, okay? It's got a small package assigned to it, right? So there's the domain. Obviously, just double check before we do that. We're going to scroll to the bottom and we're going to click continue. Now, we're going to always untick this one. Otherwise, what it will do is it will send a welcome email to your client. We're also going to uh, untick this one and reset password. We want it to reset the password. So the two top, uh, everything will be unticked besides this, uh, besides the reset service password. Then you're gonna click continue. And there we are, we're done. So now we're gonna go to, back to client. We're gonna go back to client and now you can see services has got one underneath there. we we'll click on it. And then you're gonna go product and services. Now here is the service, just like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go manage API links and we're gonna go create. Now what this is doing, this is actually creating a link from this Dave's account to your server. Action successful, uh, completed successfully and you just click the X at the top there. That's it, so now the billing cycle is set for free. So now I'm gonna set a billing cycle but I need you to actually change it. So what we will do is, is that we are going to go monthly, right? Okay. And then we're going to go recurring. Cl click this so it will bring in the price in and go save, sorry, save changes. Okay, there you go. So now it hasn't made pulled the price through because it's pulled the date. So now let's make it 1st of Feb. Okay and then we'll click here and click save changes there you go so now this isn't pulling the price so now what we're going to do is is that we're going to come here and we're going to go right click on a new tab and we're going to go to our packages which uh, products and services sorry and we're going to find the small one and go small right and we're going to go pricing so the price should be 249, but for some reason it's not pulling the package. So now we'll go here 
and we go small package, that's because this package has been synced from the server. We need now to change the package to that one. The page will reload, just like that. Now you see it's selected there. Now you're gonna click here and click Save Changes. Now it will bring in the 249. And there you go, right there. So now seven days it will uh, before the 1st of February, this e uh, system will be invoiced to, uh, your, sorry, the system will invoice your client. Now for, uh, for recording purposes, this is the password here. But I am going to change this password after the recording has been uh, finished so that uh, the password's not live. But that is how you would add a service to your uh, to your client. So now, just to give you, click on login cPanel. You click here or open up, and there's a cPanel. If you wanted to suspend, you could click there, and then it would give a non. -re I normally go non-payment and then send, and then if you want yes, then what it would do is it would actually suspend the account and send an email to the client. If you want to see how big their account is, how sorry, how much disk space they're using, you just click refresh. Last one was five hours ago. Just refresh one second ago. There you go there. Right, so now if we're going to have to come here and go summary, now we're able to log in as a client. So we're going to go log in as an owner, like this. Now this is going to log them into their cPanel, um, into their client area. And they can go services. And there's their service there. Next due date is 1st of Feb, that's the recurring amount. Okay, if they click on this here, they can see how much space they've used, right? How much bandwidth, and then they can create passwords in that. Uh, I mean, sorry, email addresses they can create, you also just quickly log in. So if they click on that, it will open up the cPanel for them. And then just go, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go switch account at the top here. Sorry, you're not. On the right-hand side here, return to admin area. And it will take you back. All right. That's how you would add a package to your, cli uh, to your client.